Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Mordecai Cohen Ettinger. I'm very happy to be here with you, Chris, and here at Lake Merritt with the, in the company of Gaggles of Geese and also my friend Patrick. And I've been in the I've been in the San Francisco Bay Area since 1997. I've done a great deal of community organizing and activist work. And right now, I also teach, um, I'm faculty at the California Institute of Integral Studies, where I teach science, technology, and society studies. And I'm creating a program in that field. And I'm remarkably thankful to be doing that work. It kind of is the culmination of years of activism and moving through illness myself and receiving training as a holistic healer um, and doing a lot of research in science and medicine. So uh, it's a really profound gift to be able to pass the wisdom along and work with students from all over the country and in some cases all over the world to help us understand um, how it is that we can use science and technology to make the future possible. So I'm really excited about doing that work in the world. Um, and I have a gratitude story that I want to share about the natural world. Um, so sometime early this winter there was a storm and it wasn't a very serious one but it was enough that it downed two trees in my front yard. And one of the trees, the root system, was just, um, it, it was just kind of um, destroyed from from root rot and that tree definitely wasn't going to make it but the other tree um, was just damaged by the one next to it falling and it was unclear whether or not it would survive so I actually had a man help me clear the branches of the one tree who was actually went by the name of the tree doctor and I said tree doctor you know what do you think what's your prognosis for for this other tree that's a butterfly bush it's very beautiful it has um, light light purple flowers that attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. Uh, it's a really beautiful tree with be really beautiful energy. And, uh, I have a really close relationship with it. And uh, he was pretty certain that it wasn't gonna make it. But my intuition just told me that it would. So he said, listen, if you wanna try to keep it here to see if it grows, then that's fine. If in spring, by spring, if it hasn't come back, then I'll come and remove it for you. For, for as a gift, which was incredibly kind of him. And um, I just sat with the tree for a while and I just prayed that it would, that its strength and resilience would carry it through the winter and then come spring it would be renewed. And then um, I kept paying attention to it and um, sending it just love and gratitude essentially. And um, little green sprouts you know, of leaves and new buds kept coming up through the winter. And um, then this spring, it was completely back in full force. And it's right outside my window while I write. And right now I'm working on a book about, based on my long-term research about the neurobiology of the social nervous system. And um, it's sitting outside my window, like really there giving me inspiration um, about resilience and our capacity for rebirth and the seeds of transformation that reside within all of us. Um, so it's a really beautiful reminder of the regenerative powers of the earth and all of the healing capacities that we hold within. Uh, and it's beautiful. And so that is something that I'm deeply grateful for. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna get Patrick over here. Yeah, Patrick. He was going to be able to do some sharing also. Uh -huh. um, I am, today I am basking in my gratitude for Mordecai and how much Mordecai has helped me uh, in recent months to establish a new stability in East Oakland. Um, I, I really value, well, I, I first met Mordecai and I really hung out with him for the first time at a somatic circle at his house where he was teaching others about uh, theta healing specifically, but I think the event more broadly was um, just focused on, on healing and sharing knowledge about healing. Um, and that's something that I and a lot of people really, really need at this time, at this you know historical moment. Um, and then from talking, we, we, we became friends and Mordecai uh, offered to let me car camp outside of his house and give me a foothold in that neighborhood, which I really needed. Um, 
and I just felt so appreciated uh, having been extended that gift of hospitality. Um, I, I felt like somebody understood the language I was speaking and also saw that I was like a weird feral person but valued that and said yes this community needs more of that um, and, and now we are here we are continuing to build it and grow it and see what it becomes this new this new culture whatever it's going to be uh, this network of mutual aid and mutual support um, thank you i honor you brother <laughs> Um, yeah, the Patrick has really helped my home, the Omicron, become kind of a collaboratory of artists and healers and change makers and seekers to really um, cultivate whatever it is that are, is really our gifts in the world and kind of come together to incubate solutions and co-create. And it's been such a beautiful gift to have Patrick in my daily life. I think you're just, you're such a, um, you have a, you have a really unique and powerful vision that's so, that's so insightful and so, um, just pervaded with like a soulful sensitivity and kindness. I think you see everything with kind eyes and at the same time, um, there's a really consistent, um, critical insight that you bring as well or this kind of questioning of how can how can this be better how can this be different or what's the world that we what's the world that we really want to live in look like and how can we get there yeah and i really feel like i can really see and perceive you exploring that in every facet of your life moment to moment and it's really beautiful <laughs> and it's really inspiring and i just also i just think that you're such an eloquent person and just such a good gentle soul you definitely feel like soul kin <laughs> to me and i love his art his art is great so you check it out <laughs> he's a wonderful graphic novelist and visual artist and just true sayer and seeker so thank you my friend. thank yeah. you jess that was wonderful